As we saw on the previous clip, the graph of x minus 3 squared times x minus 2 times x squared plus 2x plus 20 has a y-intercept of negative 360, zeros at 2 and 3. All that's obvious. Far left behavior is down, far right behavior is up. If x is a large negative number, this is negative, but this will be positive because of the x squared, and this will be positive uh, for any x because it's squared. And then when x is positive, all three factors are positive. And from that we determine that this is neg goes negative this way, positive this way. Uh, the graph comes up through 2 and down through 3. We exaggerated a few things here. As you saw in the graph, uh, things are much flatter here than what's depicted in this picture. Uh, the point, though, is that near x equals 3, the x minus 3 squared gives us something very near a parabola so that we come down and touch the x-axis and then go up. That's a good thing. How would we end up with down here, up here, and only two zeros and with a y-intercept here? We'd have to come up through this zero, down through this, and we wouldn't be able to get back up again. So uh, this is, again, a depiction of the graph of that function. Now, the lesson we learned is that near x equals 3 in the last one, uh, everything else stayed pretty constant, and the x minus 3 squared took over. Something similar is going to happen for any factor that gives us a polynomial. x plus 5 cubed times x minus 2 squared times x plus 2. The x minus 2 squared will give us a quadratic behavior near the x equals 2, 0. The x plus 2 will give us a linear function near the x equals negative 2, 0 corresponding to, to this factor. And x plus 5 with 0 at negative 5 is cubed, so it's going to act like a cubic function. The far left and far right behavior are both positive since this function has an uh, uh, even degree. The uh, degree is 3 times 2 times 1 is 6. Uh, all, well, if x is a large negative, then you have uh, three large negatives here, uh, another large negative here, which makes 4, and another here, which makes 6. The 6th power of a negative is positive. And, of course, at the far right, they're all positive, and you end up positive. However, at this point, we come down from the positive and go through negative 5 like a graph of y equals x cubed, like a cubic. Again, because all the rest of this stuff here, if x is near five, negative 5, all this stuff will be near what? Let's see, negative 7 squared is 49, and uh, negative 3 times 49 is negative 147. This will be close to negative 147 times x plus 5 cubed, near x equals negative 5. And that's a cubic function. It's a cubic polynomial, uh, and it has this kind of a shape. So we've got to be careful about those shapes, but this is in general how we can graph a polynomial if we know its factors.